Welcome to Two Girls Big Cups, the podcast where we sip and spill on all things Tumblr talk and oh, so much more. Grab your big cup and join us for your favorite juicy chats you've been itching to have. Cheers! Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Two Girls Big Cups podcast. I'm Kelly Burns from Burns Boutique. With me is Christina Smith from The Cup Smith. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the little bell, do all the things. And thank you for 50 subscribers. Yeah. We hit 50. So let's Yay. go for 100. Yes. Hit, yes. hit it. Hit it. Yes. <laughs> hit subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for all of your support. We appreciate it so much. Yes. Uh, this is like our kind of like Halloween ish episode. <laughs> And we talked about like, oh, yeah, we're going to wear costumes and we're going to make it up. And then we're like pre-planning and we're like, nah, we just wear a shirt. So. Well, but also in our defense, as soon as we're done with this, we are going over to TikTok to do our very first live for our new TikTok series, which we talked about last time or time before that, um, where we're going to make the little mini Goblet of Fires. All my costumes require wigs. <laughs> And I really didn't want to have wig hair yeah. <laughs> for the, the live. So I was like, mm. so I yeah. just, I have a Hocus Pocus shirt instead. I have um Cruella's dog rescue <laughs> shirt. So, you know, we were, we have the right intentions, but you know, we didn't go all out. <laughs> Let us know what you're going to be for Halloween. If you're dressing up or yes. not, or if your kids are dressing up or your dogs are, yes. what, are what are they? Um, what are costume. your kids going to be, Christina? Um, my daughter is going to be a spider, which is ironic because she's deathly afraid of spiders. And so are you. Like me. <laughs> she's worse than me, though. But That's funny. My son, I don't know yet. He hasn't picked it out yet. So yeah, he'll probably throw something together. He's got a, he has a sword obsession. Loves to play with like medieval swords. You know, anything that is long and cylindrical shape he will turn into a sword <laughs> anything he can whip around is a sword so he'll probably you know turn that into a costume of some sort so <laughs> what's your son gonna be well i think it was a i think it was last year he already had a costume and everything but my husband went to sam's club and they had like 15 dollar costumes yeah so he grabbed like a few extras just for like dress up yep. play and stuff and yep. um, one of them was an astronaut costume. And apparently that's the one he wants to wear this year. So perfect. Perfect. We'll see. But pretty much every year he picks something like a month or two in advance. And then by the time we're like two weeks away, he's like, I think I want to be this instead. I'm like, <laughs> too bad. So, no, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. As long as I don't have to make something again, we're good. <laughs> yes. Kelly made God. an awesome Iron Man costume one year. Mm -hmm. I'll have to insert a, a picture of it. Yeah. It was, it was Did really like the cool. um, yep, I bought the template. It's like the cosplay foam and put cut the right angles at the things and yeah. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> nope. I'm not a I'm not a DIYer usually. Um but I am gonna DIY something potentially for Enchanticon. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I, know. I keep going back and forth on what I want to do for that. For my cosplay. Yeah, I have a whole Pinterest board of <laughs> ideas. So that's what we'll, I need. That's what I we'll need see. to do is make like an actual Pinterest board. Because yeah. we have three days that we can dress up for. And I'll pick my three. And then I think of a few more ideas. And I'm like, which ones did I decide on again? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I've brainstormed too much and then I can't remember which ones I like decided to decided on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. If you are a cosplayer, give us some tips because yes. I've never done it before, besides, you know, know, dressing up for Halloween. So I know. And I don't want to do too much DIY either. I don't either, but I also don't want to spend like Hundreds right. of dollars. Like I want something unique. One. I want something unique yeah. that you don't just buy and wear. Like I want something that's you know. But yeah, I don't want to make like a whole ass dress or something, you know. What right. I mean? like a whole thing. Like, right. You don't want your uh, wedding dress 2.0. No. <laughs> <laughs> you will never sew again ever if that was no. the case. 
Yeah. I know. I know. We'll um, see. We'll see. Yeah. So what? Oh, speaking of Enchanticon. So, you know, obviously we're going because we're big, huge Harry Potter fans. Something really sad in the Harry Potter world um, just happened recently. So Professor McGonagall, um, Dame Maddie, Mag, Maddie, where'd that go? <laughs> Dame Maggie Smith died recently. Mm-hmm. Um, so wands up for her. Yes. Um, so that was really sad in the Harry Potter world. Mm-hmm. uh, As we always predicted, this is our hot topic for today. I'm going to call it a hot topic because I think there could be some people that hear that, hear what we're about to discuss and may not agree. And that's okay if you don't agree. But Mm -hmm. um, this happens every time, every time there's a celebrity death. And I called it again. It took a Mm -hmm. whole day this time. took a whole day. But um, every time there's a celebrity death, Less than 24 hours later, here come the small businesses with their memorial merch and items. And Mm -hmm. and, uh, we have thoughts. (laughs) We have some thoughts on that. Um, It happened when Matthew Perry died. Mm -hmm. It happened when Betty White died. Like, it happens Mm -hmm. every single time. And it bothers me. It really, really Mm -hmm. bothers me because it's... You know, and and this is where it's, you know, what we're expressing here. We're not so much like speaking ill on you if you do this. It's more of maybe you, you're not thinking about what you're doing here. And so we're giving some perspective is essentially what this. Points to think about. A few points, points to think to about. Because mm-hmm. I feel like actually when I first started my small, like if I think back to who I was, where I was when I first started my small business, I might have done this not really thinking about it. Yeah. You know? Because mm-hmm. I think when you're first starting out, you're striving for ideas and things to do. And so you see something happen in pop culture and you're like, oh, I can jump on that. Right. And especially so, when people are struggling right now yes. to get sales too, right. it's easy to do something like that too. Exactly. Exactly. But I think what some people don't think about is the fact that what they're essentially doing is trying to make money off of somebody dying. Mm-hmm. And so it's, I, I see a lot more comments about that on those kind of posts when I see them now. Um, I do see a lot more comments in the last year mm-hmm. or so than so, used to be. Yeah. Yeah. I think more people are starting to see that and realize like, wait a minute, you're, you're profiting off somebody's death. Like that's, that's not okay. And so mm-hmm. I'm starting to see people kind of say that it's always the t-shirt people are the first one. It's always is, is, is it? That's, it's always is that what you t-shirts. noticed first? That's funny. It's always t-shirts that I see first. And it's one thing I've noticed too, is it seems to be that it's like the same image from multiple businesses. Yes. Like as if some artist did a, cause what I'm seeing right now is a watercolor. So I'm going to use that as an example is like some artist is a watercolor just to, you know, like in memorial of. They're not trying to sell anything off of it. They just wanted to give a tribute mm-hmm. kind of thing. And so they do this art and they fail to watermark it or people remove the watermark or do whatever. And then right. it's all of a sudden on all these shirts by all these different people. Mm-hmm. And I really don't even think in most of those cases, those files are being sold. I think they're being stolen. Right. So it's kind of a double whammy that you're stealing someone's art mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you're using it to profit off the death. Mm-hmm. So Mm -hmm. when you've said this too, it's one thing if like you always made this fandom and then you're doing it or if you are donating the proceeds to Mm -hmm. whatever, like if they died from cancer, you're donating the proceeds to whatever cancer they died from, Mm -hmm. you know, that's a different, different thing than, yeah. Oh, they died. Let's make a quick buck. Right. Or if it's, you know, if you make that fandom and then you just continue to make that fandom and it's not, it's still just about the overall theme. It's not about the person that died either. Right. Kind of thing, you know, right. Like you're not about to see me make anything Professor McGonagall right now. Right. <laughs> you know, you might still see me make Harry Potter stuff because I always do Harry Potter stuff. That's nothing new, you know. Right. But, right. Right. Or you might make something 
professor <clears throat> novel for yourself, not necessarily to sure, sell. Sure, that's different too. Mm -hmm. um, but like back when Matthew Perry died, I had already been thinking about making my um, like a mini friends turkey because right. I had done one and I was going to maybe like teach it in my group. Right. And then once he died, I'm like, well, I can't do that now. Right. Like that just, you, at you that time, because I was preparing to do it like right then. <laughs> right. And then he passed away. I'm like, well, now at that time, I'm like, if I teach this in my mentorship group, I feel like I'm profiting off that. Right. And that didn't sit right with me at the time. I'm like, so I went into the Tipsy Magnolia group and I did it there because at least it was for free. Mm hmm. Like mm -hmm. I didn't gain anything by that. I just gave to others to learn how to make something, right. you know? Right. So. Right. Right. I think too, probably I'm just going to do the, what I assume is the other side of it. I have no idea. Cause I'm not, is probably other people. My guess is see companies like from like China or I don't know where doing this who have mm -hmm. no, ties to these celebrities or whatever and and they don't care if they make it you know they're just in it for the profit obviously and they're like well if they're gonna do it i'm gonna do it because better be it, better it, to be me mm -hmm. than some mm -hmm. huge company in right china or wherever mm -hmm. i don't know or even even still just local you know seeing yeah. someone you know just seeing someone in your community doing it i think it gives you that like oh that's a good idea and it's like think about it though and that's yeah. kind of what this whole discussion is more about is think about it. <laughs> Just think about it because, I mean, if, if you can make a buck off a of death and sleep at night, good for you. But <laughs> some of us couldn't. And I think it's just one of those things that some people just don't think through. Because I, I think if I was back to where I was just starting out, I would have done something like that without thinking about it. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Because you're, you're just so hyper-focused on, like, what to make to make right. a sale mm -hmm. that I don't think mm -hmm. you think that part through, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have, honestly. I don't think I would have either. I think you're right too. Like, mm -hmm. I think I would be like, I make Harry Potter stuff. I know all this stuff about Professor McGonagall and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. I could easily come up with 10 different things mm -hmm. honoring her mm -hmm. and sell it mm -hmm. easily. Yeah. But I wouldn't think of the kind of ick the ick factor, the which ick, we'll talk about ick. more later. We're going to talk about the ick today. <laughs> Stick around. We're going to talk about the ick. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, now I see that stuff. I get the ick. I get the ick. And, uh, you know, but yeah, I think first starting out, I, I wouldn't have. I would have been like, ooh, that's a good idea. Because mm -hmm. I think that's just you're in a different headspace when you first start versus once you're a bit more seasoned, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. just something to think about we're not saying like don't do it mm -hmm. i mean just we have our own opinions but yes. <laughs> but it's more of like yeah i i think there's people out there that have probably seen something like that done something like that and they just haven't thought it through so that's just the point of our discussion is maybe think through what that actually means yep and bring your other side to it too if you have a different viewpoint than us you know, mm -hmm. this is an open discussion. So, yes, we don't know everything. Yeah. Exactly. And everyone has opinions. And we're all allowed to have different opinions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Except when it comes to Brittany on Love is Blind. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I had to throw it in. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's one. Th that's another topic we're going to talk about today <laughs> is Love is Blind. So if you have been watching with us, from the beginning, you know that we are fans of the Netflix show uh, Love is Blind. Um, and they just came out with season seven. Um, and they have six or seven episodes out. Not six, the full season. Yeah. Six mm -hmm. episodes. Okay. Six episodes out. Uh, so, of course, we watch them all. And, of course, we will be bringing you um, our full breakdown of it. Um do Probably these next now? like three episodes are gonna be all of us blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna talk a little bit about it uh, until it's over. Uh, do yeah. we want to talk about now, or do we want to do cup of the day real quick? We well, let's do cup of the day because it can segue into okay. Because my okay. cup of the day, I got just for this occasion. Okay, let me do my cup of the day first. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Take two, 
take two. Okay, cover the day. <laughs> okay, let me do my cover of the day first. I've been saving my cup of the day. I've had it okay. for like probably two months. Oh, 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 I just remembered what it is. Okay. Oh my God, I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? That, wa that wasn't it? No, I have to go get that. <laughs> I hid it so that I would it would be out of sight, out of mind. Clearly, it went out of mind. You're welcome. I can't believe that I forgot about that. Well, and I was going to have mine as that cup of the day when you unbox that, and I forgot to. I have two cups of the day. <laughs> Kelly well, has. All right, next week we're both going to use our Lindsay Briggs cup. For yes, yes. Plans. First, I got to do this cup of the day because I got it at least two months ago, and she's probably like, she probably hates it because I haven't shown <laughs> it off yet. But I love it. I've just been saving it for oh Halloween, our Halloween episode. So <laughs> I have to show it off. It's from Amanda Leffler, <laughs> the crazy crafter, who we've shown <laughs> off a few times on the show. It's full of water, so I'm like, whoa. Oh, I don't know if I've seen it with that background. Yeah. And then she painted this skull. I was going to say, did she hand paint? Gosh, she's yeah. so good. She's so good. I need her. You know what? I need to have her like paint me Hogwarts. Like, I just want like a really cool canvas painting of Hogwarts, and I bet she could crush it. Oh, I bet she totally She's such a good painter. She is. So cool. Oh, I, I didn't even that. notice till I'm like seeing it in the camera, but there's like a coffin here. <laughs> And then the little Freddy Krueger hand. That's cool. I like how it's just very different, too. Because, like, the Krueger design's been done so many times, and they're all pretty similar. And that's, like, the most unique one I've ever seen. Cause yes, that's why I really liked it. all different and hand-painted. So yes, cool. and I really liked the skull that she painted. So. That's awesome. That's Amanda from Amanda. I will make sure to link her below. She's linked in half our episodes by now. I know. <laughs> she's her so many times, but she's just so amazing. So. I know. <laughs> Not the first time, won't be the last. So no. I've been saving that for so long and it's been <laughs> on my funny. shelf and I keep staring at it like all the time. And I'm like, oh, that's just funny. waiting. I'm just waiting. So thank you, Amanda. She also sent me um, a freshie with it and it was like sculpted to look like an apple pie. And it's so amazing. Oh, and it, I, I don't, it's in my vehicle and my vehicle, my father-in-law has borrowed it. So I can't even like go get it and show <laughs> you. It. <laughs> but it looks just like an apple pie and it smells amazing. <laughs> And I That's love awesome. it. So thank you for that gift, Amanda, um, as well. So make sure that you go check out all of Amanda's stuff if you haven't. Okay, guys. This is a true unboxing because I I, I put it uh, in a cabinet so that I would not be tempted to open it early. So, uh, and then I forgot that I put it in a cabinet. You're welcome. <laughs> um... So this is from Lindsay Taylor Briggs of Brave Danger Designs. Kelly trolled her in our last, she told you this story in our last episode to make a Harry Potter cup. And then when Kelly told me she was doing this, I was like, well, I need one. <laughs> I want a Luna cup because Luna is my mm -hmm. favorite character. And um, so then I ordered a custom cup from her website. So um, it came. And she documented it on um, like Instagram. She probably did it on her TikTok too, but I'm not on TikTok that much. So if it was on TikTok, I didn't see it, but I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so follow along on Instagram. Go check out her Instagram or her TikTok. I'm going to assume it's there too. I think she has posted on both. And uh, you can see it being made. There's a note, but I'm not going to read it right now. I'll read it later, Lindsay. <laughs> just for time's sake <laughs> I'm so freaking excited for this you guys <laughs> I'm excited I've been watching her figures too oh. she's got a branded sticker <laughs> so it's like color pencils watercolor I don't know what else it's just been amazing watching, <laughs> and I've just been like, oh, my God, give me, give me, give me, give me. And she had, like, flakes and stuff on it, too. I yeah, think. gold foil. Mm -hmm. The only things that I told her were I wanted Luna wearing the lion hat, and I mm -hmm. wanted the Spectra Specs. Mm -hmm. And that's all I told her. So you can do whatever else you want to do. So I'm not looking at it. So we can look at it together. 
Oh my god. That's so amazing. That's insane. It's so good. I love the pop of colors in it. Yes. That's insane. Luna's wand. The face is so good. I know. God, I, I love that she added that. in like just the the shimmers, the glitter, the gold. Like it's just it's perfect. Like pop. Like, I like the lion head is just insane. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm like, look at the whiskers. Mm -hmm. The details are just crazy. It's so amazing. And then no for the glasses, she did watercolor. Because mm -hmm. I saw that on Instagram. I love like the color she added behind that to like help that just pop. It's a shaker butt. <laughs> I've never had a shaker butt. No, we both have shaker butts. We do. That's, That's so, so cool. Amazing. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Lindsay. It's so good. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So, Kelly, what's your cup of the day? <laughs> um, it's my love is blind. <laughs> So if you watch Love Was Blind, you water. know, you know that they always have their gold wine glasses yep, that look like that. Signature, yep. <laughs> Kelly so and I we both had to got get it. some. <laughs> we, we had, had to, to get, get some. some for our Love Is Blind discussions. Yes, we had to get some. So let's go into our Love Is Blind discussions. Oh, yes, right. I had a really hard time learning everybody's names this season. I felt like there were a lot more people this season than last season for some reason. I don't know if that was the case or if it just felt that way. I think me. there might have been more at the end at the very least. I don't know. I'd have to look it up, though, like how many people went to Mexico last season versus this season. But I do I feel will. like it was less couples, I feel like. but maybe not. I think they could have sent one more with, just saying, but, just for entertainment purposes, but... <laughs> We'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'll say, well, when we get there, I have thoughts on all that. <laughs> um, I, I mean, should we just go couple by couple and discuss? I don't, I mean, there's so much to unpack here. There like, is where do so we much. We're like six <laughs> episodes. So, yeah. No. Um, also, I, disclaimer if you're watching, I, I want to know if you're watching, or we want to know if you're mm -hmm. watching. If you're not watching and you're like, I, d I could care less what you guys are talking about about this show, I'm going to insert a time stamp. Like here, telling you when to skip ahead, and I'm also <laughs> going to put it in the description of when to like skip ahead to, to go back to our regular topics. But also, you should really consider watching because it's you should show. consider watching. <laughs> but this is where we'll get back to our normals talk. This is also your warning of spoiler alert. So we have watched yes. all six episodes. If you have not gone through all six episodes and you're watching, wait before you watch this our episode right now because yes. we're going to spoil some stuff so yes and one other final warning we always have technical difficulties so if you see us like pause or like skip or whatever no you didn't <laughs> <laughs> our internet is fuzzy is it doing it still no but okay. you know i just <clears throat> threw that out in case it did in the middle <laughs> so yeah, you start okay. you start you start so kelly and i have really yeah. not talked too much we've talked a little bit much. but we've little. kept it way down so that mm -hmm. we could discuss here so i'm right. kind of like i really want to know yeah. i know i'm like this you like if you don't watch you might just even be done for this episode because i don't we're gonna probably take up the rest of the episode with this if we're being honest <laughs> there's we'll so out. much to unpack <laughs> okay so just couple by couple maybe all right Good. Because I listed them all out. I think I'm finally getting some of these names. I think why, I am part of why fly. I think we're struggling is because there's a lot of the same first letters. You have a Tim and a Tyler. You have a Monica and a Marissa. You got an Ashley and an Alex. Like, oh, and, yeah. a and Taylor. Taylor, Tim, Tyler. Like, there's just yes. a lot. <laughs> so I think yes. that's where it's messing with me a lot. Yes. Um, so, okay, let's start with Taylor and Garrett. Okay. I think they're. I don't know if they'll make it or not, but I think that they're very, very cute. They're both like, obviously they've connected on like a more like intellectual level. Mm -hmm. 
you know, both in mm-hmm. two signs and all the things. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I'm very curious if they're still together or not, because I may or may not have seen some stuff on TikTok that shows him in New York and she has a TikTok moving into a place in New York. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. so have you seen what he looks like now? Yes. <laughs> That's how I saw the thing about he looks very different. Very different. He has grown his hair out and it's kind hair of like a That's where yes. I saw though he was at something in New York. And he's kind of got a hipster look to him a little bit. Yes. And I like it. I like how he looks. Mm-hmm. I will also say I like how he looked on the show too. I thought he mm-hmm. was attractive. Um, they're like one of my favorites. I love them. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that they're they're cute. I hope they make it but like seeing the previews of what's coming up i'm like really nervous that they i don't, don't think anyone make makes it. it after that danger <laughs> they make it but seem also like everybody <laughs> I'm, like, I'm super <laughs> i'm super hopeful that they just edit it in a way they do to just make you you know be hooked and and yeah, you know right. think that bad things are happening when maybe they don't necessarily happen because they're like Top, right mm-hmm. up there at the top for me. They might be my favorite couple. Are they your I love one? them. They might be. They might be. They had an instant connection, and mm-hmm. like I love. They were the how first engaged, weren't they? They were the first they engaged. Were. They were, um, and like I just loved the the. You could tell it was very genuine, mm-hmm. and I loved that it was like, like that um taylor was like can i call you g and he was like actually that's what i have everybody call me mm-hmm. and then it was like oh well i have like a molecule tattoo on me and he's like i do too like right you know, like all these like yes, little, little things that they connected on immediately i mm-hmm. thought was so cute and i loved mm-hmm. it i loved it yeah. and i didn't get a lot of like red flags from them like mm-hmm. i did with some of the other couples Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so that's why I just, I don't know. I just think they're so cute. And they are. He, I think he's the cutest of all the guys personally. Mm-hmm. Um, I you, you said it to me a couple of times that you really like the guys a lot this season. Well, I, hold up. <laughs> oh, maybe so, you changed your mind, but I like oh, the guys. Oh, I completely a lot changed season. my mind. So I, when I first started watching, so Christina and I, I got to get cozy. I got to get cozy for our Love is Blind talk here. Okay. Good situation. Um, very first episode, I messaged Christina. I'm like, I really like the guys this season. Like, they don't seem douchey like some other seasons. And they seem really genuine and smart no, and all that. Me. I was talking about literally all of them. Then we get to episode, like, two. And I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There it is. There's the okay. Mm-hmm. Specifically Nick and Leo. Nick. But we'll get yeah. we'll get there. We'll get to those. Um and then it's like now some of my favorite guys, I'm finding out some other dirt, and I'm like, I know. So actually next couple. Okay, so go to list. okay. So Garrett, that was Garrett and Taylor. Anything else you want to add? Nothing really on them. I like them together. Okay. But the next one so prediction do you think that they're gonna i think they might i think they might make it that's my prediction ah okay i hope they do i hope it's just editing that makes it seem like they don't all right this is what we're going to do throughout this as we go through each one we each have to give our official not a not hopeful a yes or no okay and then we're going to see when this is all done how we actually and we'll change each episode Yes. Like okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go and we'll we'll change our predictions. Okay. Should I write it down? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm currently a yes for Taylor and Garrett. Okay. Taylor Kelly says yes. I'm gonna also say yes. Okay. Okay. So my next one, Ashley and Tyler. I really like them. And I really like Tyler. And now I found out something right before we recorded today that made me go, oh. Well, let's talk about that. First talk about. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I saw it uh, <clears throat> last night as I was falling asleep. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> I just think that they're cute together. They get, you know, I don't know. 
I don't have a whole lot negative to say on them uh, until today. So he, I had to figure out which one he's been on. Okay, so Tyler and Ashley. Ashley. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yes. Okay, and okay. they went cooking. They went cooking. They cooked food together mm -hmm. in Mexico, right? I think. <laughs> like pasta. is that when I ran up? No, I'm like shit. Is that when I ran upstairs for a snack? <laughs> oh, they cooked pasta together and then they ate it together. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yep, 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 yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I do. I like them a lot together. Me too. Um, like, I feel like in Mexico, she really fell in love with him. Mm -hmm. Like you can see it in her face, the way she looks at him, the way she's yeah. like, she just is like, I love you. You know, I, and I, he's like, yeah, what? I feel you like know? in the pods, it seems slightly more one sided. And maybe that's just nerves, like, because, you yeah. know, you haven't actually seen them yet. And you're just like, you don't want to fully. Right. Until, you, know, you know, but yeah, it right. seemed like once they were really together, she seemed to it, like open up really a bit. solidified more open it up to her. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I agree. I really like them. And they in Mexico seemed like really sure like mm -hmm. we have met this is like this is it like i met mm -hmm. my person we are in love we are getting married yeah and then when they were eating mm -hmm. that pasta meal that they made together he said something he was saying things that were really interesting that now that we have learned some things mm -hmm are really telling because i don't know if you caught this they say remind me what he was saying because i didn't he was saying he was <clears throat> that he's nervous for her to meet like his family or his friends or whoever because he said you're going to hear things oh, about me yeah. people are going to say things that you're not going to like people are going right. to say bad things about me he was saying that's right he's like if I you would have met me before that. you wouldn't like me People are going to say really bad things about me. And she was mm -hmm. like, I don't care. She's like, I want to protect this. I know mm -hmm. you. I've got to, I know everything I need to know about you is what she mm -hmm. kept saying, you know? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Now we find mm -hmm. out <laughs> he has three kids and he tried to like <clears throat> hide the fact that he has three kids. And apparently he tried to say that he they're not his kids, really. He was just a sperm donor. Mm -hmm. And his baby mama was like, nope, you weren't just a sperm donor. You were an active parent. Here are all the pictures of you at Look at us all in of these matching events. pajamas at Christmas. And, yeah. All yeah. these events with you raising <clears throat> our children together with us. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. really interesting. Mm -hmm. It makes you wonder, it's like, is that the bad thing? Right. Right. Then she's going to go and find out he's a deadbeat dad or, right. you know. Right, right, right. right. I'm curious. And of course, and I think there's some speculation too as to did he tell her off camera or not? Right. I want to know that too. Like, does mm -hmm. she already know this? Um, she could. He might have I want to know too, like when these pictures were taken, because some of the pictures, they have masks on their face. So how was this four years ago? Right. I mean, not that it means you know really anything like oh it was for right. you, you know maybe well, the producers <clears throat> asked them to take those pictures off right. of social media we right. don't know you know there's more of the story mm -hmm. i feel like that we don't know mm -hmm. potentially and that's where it's like yeah i'm not jumping to like a conclusion on any of that because it could have been a thing where it's like oh now that I'm in the public eye, I need to take these photos off my social to protect my children. Right. People are going to come creeping on my page. It could mm -hmm. have been something like that. So the fact could've he been. deleted anything, I don't judge that because I, I don't, don't know either. his thought process. Right. His grandma, apparently his mom did it too. So he may have oh. said, hey, yeah, I saw that. So it could have been a, hey, mom, can you delete all these? Because I want, you know, people are going to be looking at me and looking at my stuff. And I don't, you know, it could have yeah. been something like that. And it might be he's not the deadbeat that's being portrayed. It could be right. that the baby mama's trying to get her 15 minutes. Like, we don't know. 
Right. It could we don't be a completely that. normal situation and right. he just wanted to protect his kids. And maybe he told Ashley behind the scenes. It could be all 100% innocent for all we it know. It could be. Yep. <clears throat> yep. I agree. I agree. We don't know enough information. I feel like in the reunion, we'll we'll get those answers. Mm-hmm. Because we know from the past or just when he season that they're... Family. Yeah. That too. We know that's that they're, they're not shy about calling people out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Know. So... That'll be Throwing interesting. Throwing the text messages up on the screen. Yes. What's his name? <laughs> yes. From last season. Yes. Oh, so that'll be yes. really interesting to <clears throat> mm-hmm. see develop. Yeah. I just get the sense that there's more to the story and it's not mm-hmm. as bad as it's being portrayed. Sure. I could be completely wrong, though. It could be. Yeah. He could He could be a deadbeat. <laughs> like, right. Exactly. It could, so, yeah. We don't know. Yeah. So what do you think about them as a couple do you think they're gonna get married do you think they're gonna make it i mean before i knew anything is what i'll give my answer from before mm-hmm. i knew anything about any of that i would have said yes and mm-hmm. I, I think i'm still gonna say yes for now but i feel like that could change depending on what that situation actually is yeah i mean we've seen before like i just said the text messages we've seen before in past seasons where like People done some shady stuff coming onto the yeah. show or like they had a shady past or they were <laughs> dating someone else and, you know, so. Right. People come on the show for the wrong reason sometimes. So who right. knows? Right. Like that's just, that's an interesting discovery. But for yeah. now, I'm still going to say yes. I'm also going to. what I've seen from them as a couple so far. Yes. <laughs> I'm also going to say yes. I don't remember anything from the like sneak peek of the what's coming up from them. I think there was something, but I just don't remember. I don't remember it, though, um, was my point. <laughs> like, and I don't remember those, anything. And sometimes like those things are literally just a, a quick second of nerves, and they're just showing that one moment where they're like, oh, right, you know, right. just to, yeah, because they want to put right. those thoughts in their head. Right. Um. So, yeah, I still say yes to them. Mm-hmm. Who's next? Hannah and Nikki D. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this one might be a while. This one might be a while. <laughs> Oh like gosh. Hannah. That was the most cringe first sight thing I've ever watched. She was disappointed. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And her body language <clears throat> said everything. Oh yeah. Like yeah. he was like, "Wow, you are so hot." And she's just like, "Thanks." Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I can't get any farther away from you. <laughs> the way she just oh. and I, I was surprised that. the turnaround they had, but it kind of made sense when you listen to how she talk, it kind of talks about it. Is like he portrayed himself a certain way, so I think she went into it with a visual, and then that visual was not what was in front of her, and it took her she needed time to process it, right, and get used to this new idea because they did apparently have sex. So I don't think she's just like not into him. I think it's right. just she needed a minute. But that's why you don't talk about looks. That's why you don't talk about That's it. the point of the show. Right. And I think <laughs> I think that was a huge mistake that they made, but I think that they made mm-hmm. that because a couple of reasons. One, because they were the youngest couple. They're what, 25, 26? Mm-hmm. Both of them. And two, because she was so insecure about her looks. Mm-hmm. She talked about it quite a bit, how insecure yeah. she was about how she looked. So I think the conversation kind of naturally came up when she's talking about how insecure she is about her looks, that he's mm-hmm. talking about his looks. Mm-hmm. She also and like hyped up her own looks in a way too. She did. Before she, she did. then got insecure about it. It was like, I was the head cheerleader. I dated the head job, you know, yep. head football player. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, well, the popular people were always attractive. Like, so of course, that's like a way of saying I'm attractive. Like, right. And then she's like, then it's like, oh, now I've got this idea in his head. Now I got to backpedal a little bit because otherwise he's going to be disappointed. And it's like, that's right. Talk about looks. It's not the point. Right. Yep. The point is to connect deeper. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Do not talk about looks. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I have a theory. I'm throwing this out there now because this, oh God, I hope it comes out that I'm right. <laughs> I have a theory though. So in the pods, Nick's open to talking to her about sex. And then oh, the second they're out of the pods, he's like, he wants there to be some big, deep, like big secret that they've done it. 
He doesn't okay. want anyone to know. All of a sudden, okay. it's like, we haven't had sex, right? Like, he's doing this, like, winky thing to her, kind of, like, kind of a thing. Like, like he does not want her telling anyone that they've had sex. Uh-huh. Why would a guy care about that? See, Unless I have a theory there's about somebody this too. at home that he does not want to know that he has had sex with somebody. Mm. Like the I real girlfriend. That's what that's what my theory is, is that maybe he's got someone back home, just like that one guy from last season kind of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's got someone mm-hmm. back home. And essentially, if he sleeps with his person, he is cheated. And so he does not want it out there that he's with somebody. Sure. That's I think that's a good theory. Thought. It's a good theory. My thought was that, so I have only watched last season and this season. So I don't have Mm -hmm. many seasons to um, look back on to know like what's kind of normal. I only have last season. My theory was that he, this season seems very sexual. Mm -hmm. And that, um, and last season did not seem that way. Like it wasn't like, oh yeah, we had sex and we have sex all the time. Like that's how this season feels like. Yeah, it's been like um, that on other seasons. <laughs> so I, don't, I didn't know that. So yeah. I didn't know that. But last season, it didn't seem like that at all. Mm-hmm. And so to me, it was like, well, maybe he didn't know, you know, that all these women were going to be very sexual. Mm-hmm. And so he just wanted to like downplay, you know, didn't want to talk about that they had sex because he felt like, well, maybe we're the only people that are having sex. So like, let's not just, let's not talk about that. Like mm-hmm. he already, all the women already think that he's just some F boy and some player. And so like, let's not, let's not perpetuate this stereotype that everybody al- already thinks about me. Let's just, you know, leave that part out and then he finds out oh everybody's doing each other so it's fine you can talk about it uh, did he have that moment though where he said it's yeah fine, you he can said talk that to her it? yeah he oh, said I that missed, to her i must have missed that i thought he yeah was because still like... she he, she said to him they're all doing they're all having sex and and he's like oh really they are and then he, and then he's like yeah i mean yeah we can talk about it you can tell him I'll, I'll have to go back and watch that part then because I it's in Mexico I more, when they all get together. Well, and I thought I remembered a part in that scene where um it was like she came up to him and said something about everyone having sex and he's like, but we're not right. Yep. And then and it later, was like a wink wink kind of thing. Okay, I missed yep. the later part. I'll have to go back yeah. and watch that then. Later he said he's like, Yeah, you can tell him. Okay, I'll have to go back. So and watch that then. I feel I like he was like Cause that's why I was thinking, like maybe he's got a girl back home. Cause could be either one. Could be either one. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I I don't think there's any way in hell that they're getting married. No, no. Mm-mm. She's not into him at all. No. She also. What do you think about this whole list that she wrote about him? And then didn't talk to him about it, just left it out for him. Right. Like, she acts like that was something that she just was doing for herself. Well, yeah. No, but, like, you left don't just it leave out. it out in a room you're sharing with a guy. Yeah. I thought if, that was really like, immature. Maybe I should not have watched um, Unreal before watching this. <laughs> Is that show I, that's, like, I told you about that's, um, yeah. like, a satire, Bachelor, Bachelorette. Oh, mm-hmm. So now it's, like, I have in my head, oh, producers will manipulate anything. So well, like, they are. Find that list, and did they pull it out and so leave it somewhere? Like, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, she says she did that. <laughs> I know. But, um, I, yeah, I, I feel like that was, like, intentional for him to, for her to, like, almost say, here, thing, here are some things I'm thinking. I don't know. It was really immature. Like, yeah, be an adult. If you're these things are bothering you, you just oh, spent man. how many days in the pods where all you do is talk about communicate everything, yeah, <laughs> and you just leave a list of these things you that are bothering you about him, and you can't talk mm-hmm. to him about it, and yeah. he has to bring it up. And I, you can tell it made him feel really shitty. The whole delusional thing, and that she called him delusional, and. Yeah. I don't know. I feel bad for him, actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, he was one of those ones that, like, in the first episode, I was like, oh, I really like, like, like these guys are cool. Like, they're, and then, like, episode two, I'm like, oh, you're kind of, I, I'm not, like, a fan. I, I'm not, not a fan, a fan. Him, <laughs> but I feel bad for him. 
Sure, because like I don't think he's like a bad guy. Like he has right like, shown like an assy side to himself. It's just a little immature right. kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, young, I'm. But. Yeah, I'm not a fan of him. He's kind of, I don't know, but I think she's doing him dirty and yeah, the whole she's like, unrecognizable now. Yes, she's. It took a me a second. She came up. On, yeah, she came up on my TikTok. She's lost a bunch of weight, and I'm like. Oh, like, it took me a second to realize it was her. Yeah, yeah, she does look a lot different. She looks great, but. She does, she does. I mean, she, she did great. before, but, you, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> um, what do you think about that whole him riding the duck? <laughs> yeah. The desire to ride the duck in and of itself is a little immature but uh <laughs> 20, But the, the way she, her <laughs> very hard reaction to the, like, if of that was like a little, I'm like, just let them go on vacation. Just let them right. Go just let them turn, go. Turn away and ha- enjoy your drink if it's bothering you that much. Like that wouldn't give me such a hard ick. Like I'm like, yeah, little over the top reaction. Yes, and then what she said <clears throat> that that older lady said that wasn't that even was, true. That wasn't true. Yeah, she tells the story to someone else later, and she like used I think they like as if the lady called her a bitch and something else. Yeah. I'm like that's not even what that lady said. Right. At right. All. Yeah, she like totally blew it out of proportion and right. like lied about it. It was their, like, their ages that show. Their ages did not show. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah, that did not happen. It's just right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're a hard no for me. Yeah. They're the Chelsea and, uh, or not Chelsea. Yeah. No. Oh, that reminds me too. People have been talking about this a lot. About the fact that Nick compared himself to Travis Kelsey and, uh, what's his name? Did I forgot about that. Henry, what's what's his name? Henry Cavill. Yes. Yes. He's a a less (laughs) muscular version of Henry Cavill. And... (laughs) Oh Kelly knows this, but you guys watching don't know this. I am a huge Henry Cavill fan. Like, huge. <laughs> that man, there ain't the even an, a drop of right. Henry Cavill. <laughs> in And I live in Kansas City. I see Travis Kelsey's face every day somewhere that I go. His face is somewhere I go. And like that's welcome to Kansas City. That's what it's like yeah. out here. You know, yeah. Chiefs everywhere. You go into the store. Oh, there's a nice cardboard cut out of Travis Kelsey. Yeah. No. No, no sir. <laughs> not no, sir. not even. No, close. you do not, sir. Right. No. Right. It's the uh, so I'm, it's I, funny. I I'm seeing all Megan these Fox. <laughs> right. I'm seeing all these TikToks that are like, y'all want to give Chelsea a hard time for the Megan Fox thing? I better see the same effort put into this. <laughs> Yeah, she had the same oh, reaction too. Right. right. I was expecting uh, Henry Cavill. <laughs> that was not it. No. Uh, all right, next one. Yes. All right. Monica and Steven, they're my number one. I so, love them. Um, you don't? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, it's... Like, I like them. I don't mm-hmm. love them. And they're starting to show cracks. Yeah. Too. I don't love her. Yeah. Personality wise and stuff. Yeah. But I like them together. And it actually like feels genuine to me. Like, you know, sometimes they're doing the whole I love you's and the whole thing. And you're like, "Mm, this is just for the show. Like, Mm -hmm. you really, or are you just going through the motions? And there's, I kind of actually believe it. So. Yeah, I think they're genuine. Mm-hmm. I just don't think that they are as compatible long term. Mm-hmm. Like, I think they're starting to show cracks. Um, sure. The whole, like, baby, I love you. I'm so obsessed with you. You need to stop talking. <laughs> that whole thing. Like, that was like, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we're starting to get, we're starting to uh get annoyed mm-hmm. with each other now okay yeah. it's day two mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. the vacation and she was getting fed up with him he yeah. could have been talking for a half an hour you know mm-hmm. it could be very valid but uh she was a little ticked off that that scene was pretty it was pretty funny too because it was like 
I can't, you know, school, I can't get a word in. And then she doesn't say anything, but that could, anything. that could also be editing. That could also be editing. It could have. It could have. Make you go, well, say something then. Like, you right. know. It could have. It could have. It was just. It was just like, oh, yeah. okay, we got some cracks showing here. This isn't. Uh, mm-hmm. This isn't all, all paradise here. Mm-hmm. But um, I think it's another... him that I love the most. Like I think I he, like he's, him. I like him a lot. I think is I what like it is him. For me. He does have some red flags for me though. Okay. A little bit because he says like um, I wrote it down. I technically hold the title of cheater, and I was like. There's no technically hold the title of. It's either you cheated mm-hmm. or you did not. Was that the one where it's like more like an emotional cheating um, kind of thing? Was that the one? Because I feel like I remember somebody Yes, he about was that. DMing somebody <clears throat> and then he got caught DMing and they were mm-hmm. like in an emotional relationship yeah. and saying things. And mm-hmm. um, I just thought it was really like – and then the way that he was – I don't know. Just the way that that whole situation was, I was like, that's kind of a say, red flag. Did he say how long ago it was, though? No, he didn't. Okay. I feel like... Uh, not that, that I have written down, at least. Okay. I feel like that, to me, would be a factor as to whether or not that's a red flag. And too. then the other you know, thing that I found... We all did was, stupid stuff 10 years ago. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, he didn't... He didn't... As far as I know, didn't say... And, yeah. yeah. As far that's as I know, I'd be, he didn't that's what I'd be curious, say... Though. I think he said it was his last relationship, but I'm not yeah. positive. But I found it weird that when he was talking about his cheating, that she was, like, comforting him and was like, that's okay. That's okay. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I thought it was like, mm, it's not okay. He didn't let yeah. you know. Like, well, that's where, and that's where you got to wonder editing. And that's where I try to remember with a lot of this, too, is, like, that's where you have to wonder about editing. Did they cut out something that about that that made her not feel so bad about it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, what, you know, what details did he say that we didn't get to hear or you know yeah what I mean? yeah always worry about that stuff yeah i don't think they're gonna get married i just <laughs> don't <laughs> i'm gonna give you them a so i think this is the I... first one we're, we're uh different on i'm gonna give them a yes for now for now because everything always changes mm-hmm. once they move in together i mean i've seen some couples in past seasons that like i really thought from the i'm like oh they're gonna and that's like oh shit like that yeah. <laughs> well that escalated quickly <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> i just don't see the long-term compat- compatibility with them mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. you know like i said i'm already seeing some some cracks forming i don't see their connection being as strong as other couples i don't know i just don't mm-hmm. something seems off with them okay I, and I don't, I'm with you. I don't really like her as much. I think it's her that I'm not as big of a fan of, but I do really like him. I yeah, think sometimes, I, I don't know. It was like when they first met, I did really like her reaction. It was almost like the starstruck kind of thing. Like, like as if she was like dizzy with what she was feeling almost like it was, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was. Fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Next is a hard no tim and alex <laughs> oh i'm so God. mad we didn't get to see that fight um and it was really shocking too because it was like cut to him entering yeah. and it was just like whoa like what's, cameras missed what just happened here somebody got fired somebody got fired <laughs> because those cameras missed that argument Something, and like <laughs> <laughs> Something really big happened. Mm-hmm. And I think that's super uncool that she put her hands on him. Oh, yeah. When I heard yeah. that, I was like, oh. Well, and yeah. he had warned her. He pretty much warned her. He's like, I don't fight. I don't argue. And I don't do that kind of stuff. And he kind of even said that, like, he's a runner in a way. <laughs> like, that at the, you know. He yeah. He kind of said something like. He's like, if I get. Time, first time I raise my voice. It was something like that. First time I raise my voice, I'm out. Yeah, he's like, if I get to that point, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm That's out. Kidding. And That's she kidding. said, I have a history of anger problem, of anger issues. Mm-hmm. She said that before mm-hmm. too. So, yeah. Well, before before it even got to that point, it was clear that they were mismatched mm-hmm. too, because she was from the moment they met, annoyed by. I feel like almost everything that came out of his mouth. 
Yep. You she know. does not like his, like he's got a goofy personality part and she doesn't does. like it. She does yes. not like his goofy side at all. You can tell yes. anytime he jokes or does anything a little silly or whatever, it's like, ugh, it's ick. Yeah. It's ick. Instant ick. Yes. Yes. It's like, knock it off. Stop. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The dog, that whole dog thing. Yes. Yes. She can't stand when he says dog like that. She's like, yes. Oh my God. Stop. One more Making time. Making fun of his clothes, his hats, like. Yes. Like you were the one that said she, and, uh, and I thought of it too, that she like reminded us of, was it Lauren? Is that the last the blonde season? girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that was her name. Or Laura, Lauren, one of the two. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Laura. <laughs> and um, how she kept like talking about his Hawaiian shirt. And she didn't like his Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirt. shirt. And she hated his like, Hawaiian shirt. And it reminded me of that. Cause it's yep. kind of the same, same thing. It's like thing. superficial things. And in this case, it's a, there's also a personality thing she doesn't like. Because he's just trying mm -hmm. to be fun. Mm -hmm. And goofy, mm -hmm. and she, yep. someone can't yep. like your. He's goofy just playful. Stuff, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And I there really was a part too where it was like he did something, and sh and she, you know, makes her comments, and he almost basically said that it's like he keeps doing it because it bugs her. That's right. a recipe for disaster. Exactly. I've been in that relationship. If they're doing something that drives you nuts because it gets a rise out of you, and they think it's funny, that is toxic. That's yep. not no, like that's a yep. recipe for disaster. Yep. Yep. That's not gonna, it's no. not gonna fly for long. No, nope. mm -mm. both people are gonna, well, the one person is gonna really, <laughs> Right. but yeah, I really like him. I don't like her. <laughs> um, I don't like her. I do like him, but I don't like the fact that, yeah, the first time that there's some sort of argument, you're like your fight or flight. It's always flight. Yeah. Like, you're never, you're never going to, be in a relationship anymore. yeah relationships are work you have to be willing to put in that work I understand right. being like I don't want to get to a point of a screaming match right. I get that but like things are gonna come up there's going to be arguments there's like that's life that's marriage it takes work right but if your instinct is the second you get too upset that you no, that's you're never gonna like you've got to be able to communicate and work through right stuff. right the thing is he says that but he stayed he they had that huge but the look thing, on his he face oh yeah want to stay oh no he's oh, he's no. checked out he's checked out mentally i could like oh, i can yeah. so see it she's like wants him to come to her and he and she's like closer and then she goes to him mm -hmm. and she's like leaning yeah. on him and you just look at his face he's, he's oh yeah he's, done. he's like he's like don't fucking touch me like he yeah he's, he's done, done. Yeah, he's, he's done. done even if they go through these motions meeting the family all that which i mean it shows they do He's, he's done. Oh, yeah. I did show that. Dang it. I mm -hmm. was like, yeah, he should be done. But yeah. yeah. I did find her parents. I don't think they're story. getting married. No. I did find her parents' story really interesting, though, just because as a mom, my, my, my mom has MS. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I've I've lived that life of a parent with MS. So to know she's had two parents with MS mm -hmm. and just the story of like how the, <clears throat> you know, dad had it first. Mom spends, and they weren't even married, mm -hmm. 15 years just together, but not married, took care of him. The second she gets it, he bails. I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. But I just found that story just fascinating because, first of all, what are the odds that they both end up with the same disease? But, right. like, that's that's rare on its own. Right. But, yeah. yeah. I thought that was interesting. Though. Yeah. I feel like they bonded over, like, <clears throat> trauma. Yeah, because of his, his sisters. sisters. Been... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then once they got out of the pods, it was like immediate. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a good point. I think that that probably is what bonded them the most is kind of like a trauma bond, like mm -hmm. and not a personality mm -hmm. bond. Kind of right, thing. right, I agree with that. right. And then once the personalities got to got in play, it was it was very obvious that. Mm -hmm. These don't really match. Yeah. They're a hard no. Yeah. For me. They're a solid no. I'll bet money on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's any way he's going <laughs> to. Yes, but. Yeah. I don't know. Nope. We'll see. We'll see <laughs> what happens. Yeah. I feel All like right. she also, though, is indicating, like, well, if my dad doesn't like you, there's no way I'm yeah. going to. Like, I feel like that's kind of like a foretelling what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. All right, Marissa and Rams, Ramses, Ram, Ramses, Ramses. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I've heard them call them Rams, and then like Ramses. I don't know. You're crazy saying it wrong. What are your thoughts? She's interesting. They're both interesting. Mm -hmm. They're interesting. She's well. They're both highly sexual. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, which was surprising to me because, like I said, last <laughs> season, I don't. I feel like they didn't talk about sex at all. Maybe yeah. they did, but I don't remember. Well, I, mean, I, I don't did. I don't remember it being like, well, we just had sex. Well, we're gonna go have sex now, and well, we're gonna have sex now, <laughs> and then we're gonna go have sex later. I feel like I feel like in every season. Have sex. I feel like in every season when they get to Mexico, they kind of try to go through each couple and let you know kind of thing at the mm -hmm. at a minimum like let you know if they've had sex or not mm, okay i don't remember that from last season so I, to me it was a little <laughs> bit surprising one thing that turned me off from the show to be honest was mm -hmm. they talked about politics and they talked yeah. about it a little too much to my liking mm -hmm. i just am not a fan of talking about politics period so mm -hmm. It was just a little bit too much for me. And uh, so I didn't like that part of the show. I wish they would have kept that out for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. Um, so I didn't like that part. But um, I, I, I agree because, um, <clears throat> you know, I feel like, I mean, obviously election season's coming. Mm -hmm. like we don't talk about that stuff on here or anything because it's everywhere. Yes. It's everywhere. And yes. Some of us, like, our minds are made up. Right. I'm good now. Can we just like? Right. It, it, like <laughs> th that it's was... not about the the position that the show clearly took because they clearly took a certain side in that. It's not about that. Um, it could have gone either either way, but right. it's just it's everywhere. Right. That's how I feel too. It's like I just want a safe space, and it what and right. it's like, can I just go? Can I just watch something? that doesn't have politics in it like if yeah. i want to watch politics i know where to go right and so watching something and one not knowing that it was going to be talking about politics and then their big politics in it it was mm -hmm. kind of it was ick <laughs> so <laughs> right. i didn't enjoy and that it turned me off and like i i honestly tu tuned a lot of those parts of it out because i didn't mm -hmm. enjoy that yeah. So I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't like that. Yeah. I agree. Cause I feel like, I feel like right now there's like no safe space from that stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you go, yeah, you go on TikTok and small businesses are doing it too. And I'm like, I don't want to know your politics. I just right. don't, right. I don't want the ick from a small business. Like I want to, exactly. I want to see your pretty things. I don't exactly. I want to see <laughs> like, your products. I don't want to see your products and your pretty things. And I don't want anything to sway how I feel about you. So I'd rather just like it not be there, <laughs> but that's, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's got different takes on if they want to make that kind of stuff or not. And that's, of course, it's your business. It's your choice, but from a consumer or a, I don't know, a viewers, I guess. Yeah. Perspective. Like, I'd like it if you didn't, because I just see it everywhere. Right. Everywhere. Yep. I that's agree. how I feel. I too. agree. That kind of gave an ick. Right. That's like, how and I, I get like I get in the show, they have to talk about it. I mean, you gotta make sure you're compatible with your partner there, but mm -hmm. the show doesn't have to air it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. They right. didn't have to air it. Or if you're mm -hmm. gonna air it, you should do both sides, is my opinion. Mm -hmm. As again. I don't have a problem with whichever side they chose. It's just, you know, but I'd also rather you just not. I just, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. It surrounds me I on agree. a daily. I have to drive mm -hmm. down the street and see signs everywhere and just, just, I just want to like have fun. Have a safe space. <laughs> I want a safe space. Right. <laughs> and so that's why, like, guys, it... this is a safe space. You will never right. hear us talking one side or another or side. The other. Mm -hmm. or anything because yeah everyone this should, is there should be a this is the place. most you will hear this is, this the is most literally the hear. most you'll ever hear this is the, the fact that we don't want to hear about it <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you do have it in your business maybe think about that <laughs> some people just don't want to because yeah. it's everywhere and we yes. would like some people would just like to not it be everywhere right just another viewpoint. That's all. No. But anyways. 
yeah, the they were a couple that talked about that a lot. Um, I otherwise, I otherwise like them. Okay. I liked her other um, choice too that she had. Bowden, Bodhi, Bowden. Mm-hmm. I feel I like him too. I feel like he is the kind of guy she'd always go for. Mm-hmm. And Reams is maybe the kind of guy she should go for. Yeah. I have a feeling things are going to happen when she gets to meet him in person. Ooh. Do you see that little trailer bit? No, I didn't. I didn't catch yeah. that part. They they always do this. They have some sort of meetup. Yes. Where they bring in the people that didn't get to go, didn't get a coupled up, the exes, like the whole thing. Right. She gets to meet him. And there's a little, a little, some little flirty comments there. Mm. Like, she seems a little flirty though. So that yeah. doesn't oh, surprise yeah, for me. Sure. For sure. But um, what do you think of his hair? <laughs> I'm not a fan, but no. It does not seem to bother her at all, which no, is fantastic. doesn't seem to bother her. doesn't yeah. seem to bother her at all. Hasn't even been talked about or anything. I'm not I think, a fan, but you know. No, when they first met, I think he said one little thing about it, and she was oh, like, I, and I, I I think so. And she was like, whatever. Like, pretty much unfazed by the whole thing. And okay. She talked about his facial hair. Right, that she wasn't expecting it or something. Yeah, but, that I remember. Yeah. But, yeah. That was it, though. I'm not sure about them. I can I'm see not, they're an iffy one for me. I feel like she is really into him. I don't mm-hmm. feel like he is vocally as in to her. Like I feel like she is very vocal about how much she mm-hmm. is into him. And I don't feel like he is as vocal about how he feels. He always calls her like me a whore, and I think that's so cute. That's true. That's true. He seems very like when they're like kissing and stuff. He seems very mm-hmm. passionate. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. I feel like I think they could be a yes, but I really do question because she is picking someone that is very much different from what she usually picks, mm-hmm. and sometimes that backfires. Yeah, where so it's like they still ultimately want what they've always wanted. Yeah, you know. Even though it's never panned out well for them. <laughs> yeah. What is your um, final I'll give them a yes yeah. for now. You're going to give them a yes? I'll give them a yes for now. I'm also giving them a yes. I think ultimately they, I feel like, are going to mm-hmm. get married. We have a lot of yeses. Yeah. Um, It's going to be really interesting when they, like, live together. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, now we can talk about the no that we already know is a no. Yes. The big no that was actually, no, that was the most cringy first side of it. Yes, that was. That was. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Leo and Brittany. So what did you think about Leo? So that was, again, one of those ones where first episode, I'm like, okay, like, these guys are really nice. Mm -mm. They seem intelligent. That was the one. That was the first one where I was like, oh. Like, (laughs) when you get to, like, episode two kind of thing, it's like, oh. I don't want a girl to pick me for my money. I have money. Did you know I have money? I have money. Look at my Rolex. I have money. I have money. I'm very blessed to be have inherited, and I have money. And it's like, okay, we get it. You have money. Maybe stop talking about it if you don't want a girl to pick you for that. Yeah. Just a thought. Like, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Have you seen his TikTok account? No. He's made videos on his TikTok account doubling down about how he doesn't talk about money very much. He's like, look, here's another person that was on Love I Was Blind that didn't know that I had a lot of money. It's like you talked about it so a lot, guy. Yeah. And again, they probably edited it that way, but still. You still talked about it a lot. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I was not a fan of him no. from like the get go, and no. then <laughs> he he did that, and I was like, "What are you doing, my guy?" <laughs> Dude. Oh, there's so many TikToks now too that are like. You mean to tell me everyone in your family got cancer, even the step parents that weren't related? Like they're like, <laughs> yeah. They were like, somebody needs to the look calls into were coming this. from inside the house, kind of thing. Right? Like, what's like, like, <laughs> like, what? We need to get a crime podcast on right? this. Like, what happened here? <laughs> Why is literally everybody dead? Yeah. Oh my god. 
you know, he, he gives me an overall ick, just his own personality. Like he's very full of himself. You can tell mm -hmm. very showboaty. Um, but like when... oh, the Hannah scene. Oh, when he was like, when he berating like, tried her? to dump him, he, she like was trying to dump him and he was yes. like, no. And like, <laughs> that was like, that was scary. It that was, was that really honestly scary. like you are a scary dude that I feel like you could actually turn around and murder your family in the middle of the night. Like <laughs> it was <allegedly>. uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. Yes. She was trying to break up with him and he was yes. he would not let her. her. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was really uncomfortable. Oh yeah. And um whenever then he like when he sees her again after all that. Yeah. And he pretty much just like, like he gives his little apology, whatever. He hears something she has to say. And then it's like, well, I'm picking Brittany. And she's like, yeah. why'd you put me through all this shit yesterday? Right. Then? Yeah. It's because he was only picking Brittany because he knew she was done. And he did not want her to try to dump him again. Yep. Like, that's what I feel like. It's almost like mm -hmm. he didn't want to be the one dumped. Yep. That's yep. the only reason he said that in that moment, because he knew she was done with him. Yeah. And you and he knew probably that they and he knew they were talking and that they, you know. So the last thing he wanted was for her to turn around and be like, yeah, I just dumped him. Because then for Brittany, it's like, oh, I'm second choice. So he and that and the, him asking her basically to go in there and tell her things mm -hmm. like he wanted Brittany to think she was number one. Yep. Because that's the only way she'd say yes. Mm -hmm. So he was like trying to like backpedal and like cover his tracks and stuff so that yes. he could get the yes from Brittany. I'm like, what the hell? That is yeah. not what this show is. It's not to get paired. It's to find a life partner. If right. you're not in either of these people or if it's like if it's not going to happen with the one you want, the other girls, you know, okay, but you're not in love with her. You don't propose then. Like it's just right. it's over. Like. Right. Right. Well, and then Brittany, she wrote this whole long letter. Mm -hmm. About how their relationship is tainted and how she's disappointed. And then he's like, well, will you marry me? And she's like, yeah. I was like, what are you doing? Right. Well, right. Yes. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knew that. But it was like, yep. "You, what are you doing? And she's like so upset. And she's like, this is, this is ruined. I have such a bad taste in my mouth about you, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And he's like, okay, well, will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I know. What? Oh, that was such a cringe. Oh, and then gosh. they meet on the couch. Yes, and he's like, "I love you," and she's like, "I'm not ready to say that." Right. You just I was trying to marry this guy. And I was trying to remember if she even said that in the pods too. I don't think she did, but I don't, I don't know if she did. No, if she did, but um, he. I thought it was really uncomfortable too. Like she's like kind of like laying on the couch and he's like hovering over her. It was her. a battle. It was a battle. If you watch it, it's a back and forth dominance battle where like he's trying to get over her. And so then she'd get out from under that and then she'd try to be more over him. Like I think she was kind of scared of him. Yeah. And his intensity. So she wanted to not like she was not comfortable being under him. She that that's a power position and she was not comfortable with that position. So she would kind of move over and then try to like almost be physically not close to him, but still like over. Like if you watch, like she'd sit up and lean and like come around. So she was in front of him, kind of thing. And then he'd yeah. flip her again, like kind of thing. And she'd go right back. Like it was it like was this so boop, weird. Boop, 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 boop. Like I was like, oh my God, this is so uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable. She was, she was trying to choose the bear. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was like just, oh, yes. Yeah. He was, it was, he was. He was like practically pinning her down. Yes, he was. He totally was. It was so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm replaying certain parts in my head. I'm like, <laughs> and then he leaves and he's like, she was so hot, and she's like, "Yeah." And she's like, "What did I just do? What did I just do?" <laughs> I think that's what she said. To you. She's like, "Oh, what did I just get myself into?" Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and God. I was like, "Yeah, that was my thoughts too, girl. What did you just do?" 
I don't, and I don't know what that whole Miami bit was about. I think she just wanted to go on vacation. Right. (laughs) Like, hey, we're still going to go on vacation, right? You're still going to buy me a trip, (laughs) right? No matter what happens, we're still, you're still going to take me somewhere, right? I I wouldn't be comfortable going anywhere with that guy. Unless they had separate rooms. (laughs) That's all I can say. Maybe, she maybe on separate rooms. Yeah, she probably did. Uh, the thing that really was ick to me was his. He did it to both of them too. He did because one of them was like, "I love when you give me my kisses," and then the that, next scene, he talks to the next girl, and I hear heard him do it again. I go, "Oh, <laughs> that was yes. my reaction." Like you did it to both of them. Yes, oh. Hannah was Hannah did it back, but Brittany was like. I'm not comfortable doing that. I think Hannah was the one that was like, I love when you give me my kisses. And then yes. it was like, next was Brittany. And I saw yes. him. I think that's might be how that went. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly how it went. Yes. Oh, oh. it was so cringy though. <sighs> I was like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but I do wish they would have taken him to Mexico because I just would have liked to see the drama. <laughs> right. Well, and I get like why they, because I mean, even producers were probably like, this is going to end in Mexico. We're not sending them to Mexico. Like they knew, yes. they knew. That's why they didn't go. That's why, because some exactly. people have been like, why didn't producers invite them? It's like, because producers knew they were going to break up on day one. They're not right. going to invest in a story that they know is going to go nowhere. Exactly. But it was exactly. good for everything up till that. That's why they got to be a part of it. Because you can see right. there's people that don't make the cut. You see mm-hmm. them in the discussions and things, but like mm-hmm. they don't really make the episodes like in the right. pods. They don't show them in the pods because mm-hmm. just probably wasn't entertaining or just nothing went anywhere for them or, you know. Right. But right. that was all pretty damn entertaining up till that point. So mm-hmm. of course they put them in it, but. Well, and it was important yeah, too that was for end Hannah's on story. One. Right. It was important too, yeah. to have them for Hannah's story because mm-hmm. it was like, mm-hmm. well, why were Leo and. Um, Brittany in it because even if they didn't go to Mexico it's like well it was important for Hannah's story to have Mm -hmm. Leo a part of it and that was too cringe to not put on the yeah yeah that was our entertainment that was our entertainment (laughs) right right Uh, I'll be interested to know or to see when they meet Hannah Mm -hmm. and Leo yeah okay if you're watching we want to know your thoughts and Mm -hmm. if you agree with who's getting married and who's not getting married and uh, we'll see if our predictions are correct i feel like the last like last season we were like this is gonna happen i don't like this person i like this person and then like the next episode we're like well we were completely wrong and now that (laughs) person that i hated i love (laughs) that is what we did so we'll see if that happens again yeah um, we have one more thing to do before we wrap this up, and it's on Kelly's desk, and it's a throwback from our last episode. <laughs> I forgot already. I found Kel- them. So Kelly, we last episode talked about how the only time she attempted to strip a cup was. I guess I did she- it twice too, like at the same time. There's dust like- all over this foil. <laughs> <laughs> it's like four years old. I know. <laughs> So yeah, we were talking about stripping cups and I said how like three or four years ago, um, I did try it. And the only technique I knew was paper towel, acetone, wrap it up, wrap it up, the things. And they've been sitting there ever since. So we're going to see what they look like. We're going to see what it looks like. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> yep. So let's take a look. Watch it have done nothing. <laughs> I'm half, back expecting, place. I'm half expecting that. Oh, this was a bling one. Oh. I'm trying to get bling off of here. Oh, wow. Move it, move it, move it into the camera so we can see. I was trying to get unfold. bling, like the glue. Oh. That's what it was with this one. Is that one of those um, flask? Yeah. Did it work? I mean, yeah, some of them are popping off. Like some of them are just sitting in here. So, I mean, it kind of worked to an extent. Yeah, I could pop them off really easily now. Okay, so it did something. I think I just said, like, F it, and then I probably, like, you know, 
I didn't do too bad for a honeycomb with no sort of guide or nothing. Well, from like, my those are kind those are kind of straight. From where I'm seeing, I'm like, why were you stripping that? Probably because it was a bling. I don't finish bling. <laughs> That's a rare, rare find. <laughs> Here's the epoxy one. Oh god. I'm surprised that the paper towel is not like embedded into the cup after so many years. <laughs> Was that like a swirl? Oh, like a that nastiness. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like crystallized on uh... <laughs> It is. It's like little crystals. And you can see like the yellow, like nice yellow epoxy under there. That's probably that good old Illumilite. <laughs> it's all like bubbly. Uh... Does it come uh... off? Kind of. Oh, wait, what's under here? <laughs> Was this one of those ones where, um, might be, well, maybe not. Maybe Sometimes like what I would do is rather than strip a cup, a cup, I would just do stuff over it just to hide it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, all right, let's just respray paint that. And right. But yeah, here's your. Ew. <laughs> Oh, there we go. If um, you wait that many years, that's that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> and it didn't really work. It just kind of really work. Flakes things away, and they're just still stuck. That's funny. <laughs> well, next time, do the bucket your fifth one. Fifth grade science experiment. It just falls off. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, funny. <laughs> Oh, we got to get to TikTok. Well, yep. We're going to wrap this one up. Thanks for uh, watching, everybody. Make sure you join us next time. Uh, I was going to say we'll be talking about something, but, I mean, it'll be Love is Blind. And I don't know what else. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below and let us know what you are into and all the Love is Blind stuff. And um, we will see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.